window of course, turn it into a five star hotel, and for those of you that can see the penthouse up on top, and you'd like to stay there, you're 21,000 euros a night. Unless the film festival's on, and of course they give it away to the star of the film festival. So uh, it comes with a rooftop swimming pool, uh, you can pay for a room with no view whatsoever looking over the boat factory out the back for about 680 euros a night. So uh, a pretty penny all the same. But an industrial island on the back side where they have all the gondolier repair centers and tugboats to bring these uh, ships in, but also a residential island all the same. And just focusing on the, the housing, but look for the buildings. Some have round arches, some are square, some have what looks like flamboyance. And these are inspired by the Byzantine Empire, which was inspired by the Arabic cultures of Asia Minor. So if you look at the houses, you notice all the houses, some have a lean on them, folks. That's because the foundations are slowly leaning. Some have uh, all different styles. And one of the most beautiful things about Venice, anywhere you look, is a contrast. In fact, there was a famous American, Truman Copop, who said that trying to view Venice uh, all at once is tr like trying to consume an entire box of liqueur chocolates in one day. It's so rich with different styles. And, and, it, and this is because all of these houses you see were independently owned. Not like the states of Iran, not like the states of uh, other Italian cities. They were independent merchants. And that's because the Venetian Republic was founded in 1453. And the Venetian Republic was founded in 1453. the Venetian Republic was founded in 1453. And the Venetian Republic was founded in 1453. the 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 the